See, the important thing about water, if you give me a pear, I can cut it open and go up and rot. An apple, I can go up and rot. A banana, I can only see it, but I can smell it. You can't smell most of the bad water, the water that they sell people to drink. Not since 1974 have we altered or changed the oversight and regulation of drinking water. Tap water, tasteless, odorless, toxic. It's important to know what we're putting into the human body. If we simply drink water that tastes good or looks good without knowing definitively that it is good for us and that there's not any type of detrimental toxin in that water, is irresponsible at best. The due diligence is on us as adults, as caregivers, as husbands, fathers, whatever role we may play in our families, to be certain that we are putting only healthy, nutritious things in our loved one's mouth. Tap water is bad because it's tap water. And what makes it tap water, it comes through pipes. It comes through pipes. And those pipes have been in homes and under the ground for over 100 years. I'm 80 years old. So if they put the pipes in 100 years ago, that means it was 20 years old when I was born. Now, I'm going and drinking the same tap water from one city to another with different chemicals in it. In my home, I thought I was doing the very best thing for my family, so I installed this reverse osmosis, top of the line equipment throughout the whole home. In fact, in my home, it cost over $7,000 to install the system. I thought, wow, I'm doing this amazing thing for my family, only to learn now, as I've become better educated, that point of use is where you want to treat your water. Meaning that when I treat the home system and then the water sits in the home, in the pipes, it now is subject to that contamination, to those open, uh, your faucets as they open, those kind of pieces, now you're going back and you're actually detrimental to your health versus helping you with this. Tap water, regardless of where you live, has many issues. Part of it is the process of cleaning the water. Our focus is on just that, cleaning the water. Not everything we put into the human body is supposed to be sterile. Reverse osmosis, distillation, many of these forms give us very good clean water, but it's not exactly healthy water. It's similar to our antibiotic use. We've overused antibiotics because we get so concerned about being sterile not understanding that there are good bacteria that the human body does need. Similar with water. There's minerals in water, there's nutrients in water, and it's important that we don't remove those. But the process of cleansing water, we remove this and it gives us dead water. Once again, we'd simply like to say thanks. We'd like to thank you for taking the time and energy to come along and research and see what it is that we're sharing with you. You can't put a price on health. My family has been on the front line of forward thinkingness in health and nutrition for some time. This here is one of the biggest things that we've ever brought to you. I'd first like to say, in addition to all of the information that we shared with you, a lot of it was somewhat doom and gloom. A lot of it was everything that was wrong, everything that's not right, how this is such a terrible process, how we all should somewhat feel bad for the role we've played in adding to landfill and more importantly, the amount of plastic bottles we've added to the landfill. What I'd like to do is take a moment right now to show you the answer. I'd like to focus on the positive side and how simple the solution is. Here, what you're looking at may appear as a simple water bottle, but this is an actual proper purity filtration system. We think, well, of course, if I go to Africa or if I travel somewhere and I see some nasty pond that I can't drink that. But in our own homes, 
in our own communities. And we're seeing more and more of this all the time. Yeah. Other than in Utah, where we have these beautiful mountains and supposedly all the water comes running down there. And yet, all the time we have communities getting notices saying, warning, you know, it's not safe to drink the water in your, in your taps, coming out of your taps. Right. In fact, I think Riley was telling me one time you can light a fire on his or something like that. It's like flammable. <laughs> so, you know, you think about this with your water and you think, well, for years we thought this was okay. But the domestic issue is just as concerning because as we become educated, we need to learn that there are other things around us that we weren't even aware of. Right. That are going on behind the scenes. And as we become more educated, we have more power. Yes. We have more opportunity to change and make this world a better place right. and be responsible and great stewards when it comes to water. Yep. <clears throat>